Hello and welcome to yet another video in Peaceful Weekend Investing. My name is Shivendra Bhatia. So today we're going to cover two things. One, we're going to talk about the stock which we covered two weeks ago. And I want to share some more updates which has come in, which has definitely, you know, going to give you some more uh, relevant information because why this stock was giving positive sign on uh, price action two weeks ago. The results have come in and the results are really, really uh, fantastic results for that company and again that was the title of that particular stock was which i shared was godray phillips techno fund analysis this is the one if you haven't watched it you can watch it after this video so that way you can have uh, the more details second thing which i would uh, want to cover as part of second part of this uh, video is uh, the stock which i am looking at it as part of my watch list in india market which is on the verge of multi-year breakout yes and it could you know be another stock which you should analyze it further for your investment or trading purposes again there is a clear disclaimer at the start of it make sure you read it i'm not a financial advisor so absolutely here all information which i'm sharing is factual and also a general advice only so keep that in mind so let's get started So let's uh, go through. Uh, so this is the video which is uh, mentioned. This is Godre Philip analysis, techno funder. So I covered everything right from the company model, fundamental analysis, technical analysis. So it is going to be quite an interesting video. You should watch that um, after this video. I'll leave the link below. Now, the stock which I want to cover is Godre Phillips. And uh, Godre Phillips uh, has, as you can see, has come up with uh, some interesting results and this is the uh, quarterly results which i picked up from their website uh, go to philip so they are into tobacco business again if this is a sense talk some of them don't some of my friends don't invest in it so if you don't you don't need to um, you know worry about it you can focus on the next stock which i'm going to cover so the stock uh, itself is in lakh so you can go through that i will leave the link also in the description so they have come up with a good results quarterly profits uh, for this particular stock so let's go in here so this is screener.in so this has already updated those quarterly results so what is important here is note is um, the stock has uh, you know sorry just one minute if you see here from september to september right so september 2021 to this there has been continuous increase and right from the june itself the trend has started and what has happened is from there is the the stock eps itself is almost doubled right sorry about that this you can see here the EPS from 20 rupees has now almost coming to 40 rupees 38.82 which is a great um, gain itself and um, and that's why you see that you know stock has recovered so sharply and nicely from the rounding bottom which I've shared with you and uh, in my previous video itself right and that is and price stock prices are always slave for uh, you know the return so keep that in mind and as you know Dow theory very well i'm assuming if not put a comment box below i can create another video specifically talking about Dow theory because that has been there for several decades now that this Dow theory is there so you it still follows the same pattern and the stock is forming higher higher bottoms and lower lows so it, it is kind of changed the trend and now it's moving up and stock is now I think uh, if I'm correct, it's coming out almost a uh, five years of breakout, which is trying to give already given that this week. So it has closed above the five year high, which is a good sign going forward. And we'll cover that uh, briefly. And uh, again, looking at their uh, other activities in terms of um, in net cash flow companies. So that's great. So there's not too much of uh, debt. So the reserves are also growing, which is also a uh, as you can see, their reserves are growing and their borrowings is uh, remaining kind of standard, uh, st uh, stagnated. So there's not too much of an increase, so nothing to worry about it. And let's look at uh, the shareholding pattern. So that way, just to give you a perspective of that. So 
most of the shares are owned by promoters, which is almost 72%, uh, which is so stable, so that's great. And the retailers have slightly increased the participation on that, FI has reduced it, so keep that in mind. So hopefully you get an idea about it, and let me quickly uh, cover that. Uh, go train. So let me show you the stock, it's uh, this one. So last time when I covered two weeks, I was sitting here. Now stock has convincingly broken high of uh, December 1st, 15, and now it's close above this, which is a good sign. And there's, I would expect some more volume pickup, but this is a monthly chart. So when I'm recording this video, this is 13th of November, 2022. So keep that in mind. And as you can see, it has formed a nice bottom, a rounding bottom, and stock has just, um, taken it up from right from this blow and close about 56 percent has been up for last couple of weeks itself so and um, ever since it's taken this bro so 1300 to 16 so that also has taken a volume participation is a bit lower side of it i would have seen huge but still it's a bit volume high and you can see at the time there was a big accumulation happening so somebody uh smart investor had a good view so they were acclimating it every time why i'm saying so because every time stock was moving up it was moving up big volume and it's coming down with the low volumes as you can see and this is a period of inaction completely where it kind of retraced from right from here to 33 percent and there was hardly any volume and that tells me that there was acclimation going on and whether there was an operator or what i don't know but this is what it means somebody was buying and then every time it was breaking out is breaking out with a big volume and then people who are booking profits uh, those who have no information or uninformed investors there all right so hope that got a good clarity so the next talk which i want to cover as part of the next segment is dlf now dlf why it has come in my radar because of a reason it is very very interesting and let me take you because i like to see a monthly chart and then you know take it from there because that's where it gives you the clear picture and the stock has has as you can see her stock has been completely a wealth destroyer right as you can see very clearly the stock has not done anything for any good for the investors ever since his as ipo days it has um, given some 100 130 percent gain after that it has just been a wealth destroyer those who invested the money in october 9 are still sitting on a loss here but what is interesting and come in my radar is um let me just grab my pen so this stock has now formed a rounding bottom and then kind of uh, also going in higher high formation as you can see the line and then it is it is almost in close to the verge of this long-term trend which is from the 2009 december and is trying to close above that again keep in radar clear disclaimer so this is something which i'm just sharing it has been there in my radar for some time and and i might have my positions on that so I'm, I'm not asking you to take any positions or buy and sell. It's just for my education purposes. I'm sharing this. So please consider that. And this talk, again, I'm doing a technical analysis, not doing a fundamental analysis. So as as the you know uh, as we progress, probably I'll come up with more videos around it. So if you are having some other view around this talk or the previous talk, do share with me in the comment box. I'd like to learn from you as well if there's anything which I missed out. And if you're interested in any other videos, do put a comment box so I can come up with those videos as well. Um, so keep that in radar. That's all I wanted to cover today. I hope this was useful for you. And before I say goodbye to you, uh, I would uh, urge you, if you're finding value out of these videos, and do consider um, subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Have a peaceful weekend investing for the next week. See you. Bye.